Hello, everyone. My name is Connor Dawes, and I was lucky enough to be selected for the Balanced Leader Search 2020 Top 65. For those of you who don't already know, we were asked to do a day in the life video, but I thought that was a little inclusive for me considering my work schedule is so crazy and on a day-to-day -day basis, it can vary so much. So instead, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna do days in the life. That way you can see not only how I spend my days from work, but also how I like to spend some of my free time. Like right now, watching my Purdue Boilermakers take on the Scarlet Red Knights of Rutgers. Please win, we really need this win for the March Madness Tournament. Secondly, I wanted to say thank you again to Balance for this opportunity because this past week has been amazing with all the different faces I've gotten to meet, the connections I've made, all the unique people with the same story about trying to follow their dreams and follow their passion. So thank you again for watching and enjoy the rest of this video. Good morning everyone, it's Monday morning and I'm about to hop on some of the first work calls I have. We generally do meetings every Monday morning and Tuesday morning as well to get the week started, make sure that we're on the right track. I got my coffee with me, computer, time to get to work. Thanks everyone, have a great day. So as I mentioned earlier, I have a pretty crazy work schedule and even though I call San Diego home, I'm traveling generally two to three weeks out of the month. So I'm up and down the East Coast, I'm in the Midwest and I'm especially traveling up and down the West Coast. A company I work for is a solar racking manufacturer. We design engineer systems that go on top of a roof. So if you're driving around and you see a solar array on top of a home or on top of a commercial building, there's a good chance that we may have designed that and helped install it as well. So even though I travel as much as I do, the one thing I try to keep really consistent in my day to day is what I eat and when I eat it. So the first thing that I do every morning is have some oatmeal. And this is apple cinnamon oatmeal. I love flavored oatmeal. It's the best way you can start your day. If I'm in a situation where I can't get flavored oatmeal, what I like to do with regular oatmeal is just throw some fruit on it and it makes it just as good. The other thing that I generally have with it is a couple slices of Ezekiel bread, and I lather that up with peanut butter. And I am a peanut butter addict, it's really a problem. So I try to keep this to a light amount, like two teaspoons or just under a tablespoon, and it makes your bread so much better. I also try to get low sodium peanut butter because as much as I love sodium and salt, it doesn't quite feel the same way about me. So I try to keep that reduction down. And another tip I have for people who travel as much as I do is if you're gonna be out and about and traveling and seeing customers like I do, a rule that I have with myself is I don't allow myself to order anywhere where I can go through a drive through or eat in the car. So if I'm crunched for time, what I'll do is I'll try to order somewhere and do takeout, but I find that I am always regretting my decision if I go through a drive through and get a burger or something. So that's how I'm able to keep a healthy intake of food even when I'm traveling throughout the country. I wanted to talk a little bit about my food that I eat on a daily basis as for me, that's a big part of my day to day. I'm lucky enough to live down the street from a Vaughn. So I try and walk there instead of drive, which it gets me outside. Um, it's about a half mile walk, so I kind of enjoy the, the time off from meetings and phone calls and uh, I get to be outside a little bit and getting to be in the sun. So what I eat a lot of on a day-to-day -day basis, ground turkey, this is 99% fat free. Um, I generally eat about six to 10 ounces of that on a day um, and I flavor it with salsa and hot sauce. I love spicy food, so for me that makes it the flavor way better because when you're eating lean meat like that, it can be dry a lot of times. So this gives it a little bit of flavoring as well as an additional uh, little bit of sauce to it. The other thing I eat a lot of is vegetables. I cook bell peppers um, pretty much with all the meat that I eat and it adds a little bit of protein, adds a little bit of color to it and it tastes a lot better. Luckily in Southern California, we have access to a ton of avocados and they're cheap. So I eat a lot of avocados. They are delicious. Other thing I eat a lot of is onions. Um, this is a red onion. I eat a lot of sweet peppers, um, sweet onions. Really, I'm a big vegetable guy, and when you cook them, they add a lot to the meal. 
Outside of that, I obviously go through quite a bit of eggs. Um, I generally will eat six to 10 eggs and it obviously it varies between what I'm trying to do if I'm trying to lean out or bulk. Um, right now I'm in my cutting phase, so I'm high on protein, still high on carbs, but eating a decent amount of eggs is really key for me to continue to maintain the protein that I need so that I'm not losing a lot of that muscle when I'm trying to cut down. It's meal prep time, which is something that I actually really look forward to doing on the weekends. A lot of people don't like to do it because they don't enjoy cooking, but I love to cook, so that really helps. And I generally do it on the weekends because that's when I've got the most free time and it helps me throughout the week not being able to have much time to generally cook, especially with all the travel that I do this week. I'm going to be up in San Francisco. So I'm preparing a little bit early this weekend and getting it done now. I wish you guys could smell this place right now. I have some turkey that I just finished cooking. I've got some egg whites and a whole egg that I've gotten there for my next meal. I have a little taste of home, which is this olive oil, olive branch. It comes from this little shop up in Northern Indiana. So good, it's a little taste of home for me. And then I've got some chicken that is sitting in the oven getting ready to go. And when this stuff is all done, I will generally throw it in a bag, um, separate it for day-to-day -day stuff so that I have it and I don't need to worry about cooking. The other thing is that it really helps me stay on uh, my track, stay on, on progress with my goals and keeps me away from the cravings that I have when I'm traveling, because if you guys haven't had In-N-Out, I don't know what to tell you. It's really hard to say no to that. So I drive by that a lot, but when I've got food with me, it makes it a whole lot easier. About to eat my second meal of the day while I'm working here. I have another call, third call of the day. It's been a busy morning, but this is why I meal prep, so that I don't have to worry about cooking. It can be quick and easy. I can do it on the fly. I have meal number two, which is uh, egg whites, four egg whites, 80 grams of broccoli, 60 grams of avocado, 20 grams of tomato, and four ounces of lean turkey. So delicious, gotta have some spice in there, so I have some salsa. Lunchtime, my favorite meal of the day because I get to eat so much. I got some spinach, some tomatoes, some eggs, some turkey, some broccoli, avocado. Again, this is why meal prepping for me is so important because I generally have no time uh, to cook. I'm about to start packing and then it's off to San Francisco. <laughs> Hello there, heading out to go see some customers. Generally, I'm on the road about two to three days of the week, sometimes more, sometimes less. Today's, or this week's gonna be a little bit more because I'll be in San Francisco, so it'll be about four days of the week, but this is my mobile office, my trusty used Tiguan. She hugs the road, she goes like a stabbed rat, and I uh, use her when I'm in between customer visits, set up my laptop, get the things I need to get done. Got my work bag, got all my sample stuff. Looks like it might get rained on here, but I'm not gonna let that dampen my spirits. Gonna act like it's a sunny day anyways. Time to go make some money. Just got back from some customer meetings. It's about 6.30, it's time for me to eat some dinner. I uh, generally try to eat before seven so that I have enough time to digest before I get to the gym. Um, I also have a pre-workout meal. It's more of a snack really before um, I hit the gym as well. Wanted to show you guys what I generally eat for dinner though. About 60 grams of avocado, roughly 20 grams of tomato, 80 grams of broccoli, and then about six ounces of lean chicken. Time to eat so I can get to the gym tonight. Welcome to Ocean Beach, San Diego, specifically the dog beach. And this is where I like to come and kind of relieve some stress throughout my week when I'm here in San Diego. It's a little bit cold here right now, so there's not a ton of dogs out, but generally this place is pretty packed, which can be awkward at times because people are always asking me, oh, which one is yours? And I don't actually have a dog, so I nonetheless get to enjoy this beach just like everyone else. The other reason I like to come down here is not only because it's a gorgeous place to watch the sunset, watch boats come in, watch the tide go out, but I'm also a volunteer member at a group called Don't Trash PB. And what we do is we go around San Diego and clean up the trash that builds up in some of the beaches, some of the areas in the city, and we help keep San Diego looking beautiful. 
So this is one of the ways that I'm able to find balance in my crazy work schedule, my crazy life that I have. It gives me a breath of fresh air and it gives me a, the ability to enjoy the outdoors as much as I do. Just finished the leg workout. I'm exactly, I'm exhausted. I'm not even forming sentences right now. I'm pretty drained. It's 11 o'clock. Time to go home and eat some yogurt. I'm walking like a baby giraffe. I feel like I should have something more witty to say, but that's all I got. The last thing that I eat on a daily basis is some yogurt and fruit, and it's the best way to end your night, even if you're exhausted like I am right now. I try to eat it generally before I, get, I go to sleep a few hours before, but tonight I didn't really have the option. It's basically health in your mouth, and it's absolutely delicious. search submission. I hope this gives everybody a little bit of a better understanding for how I find balance in my life between my work schedule, how I prepare and what I eat food wise on a daily basis, as well as how I like to spend a little bit of my free time, whether that's outside in nature or at the gym. Again, I want to thank balance for this opportunity. I'm absolutely humbled and this is such a cool experience. I got to go catch a flight. I hope to see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.